Now, Janine, what I'd like to talk to you about is a topic that has obviously been at the uh, top of everyone's thoughts for quite a few months now, and that is the coronavirus or COVID-19. It has uh, implemented massive changes for everyone all around the world. I don't think anyone has been untouched by it. But we also need to focus on issues like the narrative or real news versus fake news. Now, I believe you've got some information on the real purpose or intent of this virus that everyone around the world is talking about. Maybe you could explain your views on that very topic. Yeah, sure. So first off, I want to say that um, I can't take credit for any of this. Um, I really do believe that God has led me um, to find this in information from various sources. So I want to start out by saying there is a researcher. Um, she's actually an insider as well. Her name is Celeste Salom. And she reveals, uh, she's the one who revealed this, but the evidence is there plain to see for everybody that COVID-19 uh, is a cover. It, it is a real uh, it is a real problem, there, um, but is there really a pandemic? You know, the data hasn't matched the projections. So um, COVID-19 is on the World Economic Forum website as world government. So all the evidence suggests that this pandemic was rolled out as a cover narrative for the understory which of subterfuge, as you said, which is world government. And so we want to look a little bit more at the plan. So I've come across some inf interesting information about the fact that there is a plan. It has been around for a long time. And I want to explore some quotes about that just quickly. So um, William Joseph Sutton writes in the New Age Movement, the Illuminati 666, he says, the modern day Luciferian conspiracy to overthrow Christianity and all other religions that will not worship Lucifer is today called The Plan. Um, now, here's a quote from The Plan and its implementation, written by M.E. Hasselhurst, uh, writing for Lucis Trust, which was known as Lucifer Trust. Humanity needs to realise that there is a plan and to recognise its influence in unfolding events. So people want us to think, the narrative wants us to think that it was a random event, but in fact there is a plan, it's been going on for a long time. Let's look at a few more quotes. Um, from Vera Alder, When Humanity Comes of Age, she says, there is actually a plan and a purpose behind all creation. World unity is the goal towards which all evolution is moving. The world plan includes a world organisation, a world economy and a world religion. Now we have another statement from um, Benjamin Cream in newspaper, 20 major newspapers around the world in 1982 and it states, what is the plan? It includes the installation of a new world government and a new world religion under Maitreya. Now Maitreya is a term for the world teacher and there is evidence that this individual is actually on the stage right now but I'll get to that later on. So let's look a little bit more at the plan details and hopefully some of the things that we're seeing around our world will begin to come into focus. The plans for a new world order incorporate a single state religion and a universal church. Dr. Kirk E. Koch, professor lecturer at 100 universities in 65 countries on five continents, whose subjects of expertise include the New World Order, occultism, extreme movements, parapsychology, gives his assessment of the coming New World Order. Now, this was written many, many years ago. I was doing this research from, back from 1994, so this is old, but hopefully it gives us a sense of the fact that there's, there's been a plan that's been going on. He says the system will be made up of a single currency, a single centrally financed government, single tax system, single language, single political system, single world court of justice, a single head, one individual leader, and a single state religion. He says, every person will have a registered number without which he will not be allowed to buy or sell, and there will be one universal church. Anyone who refuses to take part in this universal system will have no right to exist. Now, this was quoted on page 20 of Operation Vampire Killer of American Police Action for Stopping World Government. That's where I found that quote. Um, now, I'm going to quote from a very established source, um, Malachi Martin, 
he's a Jesuit insider revealing um, the Jesuits um, part in the plan for world government and world religion and the plan for the Pope to head it. But he introduces it this way and I think his, term, his words are very interesting. The crisis issue fundamental to this plan, I'm sorry, I'm not quoting from him, that was my introduction, I'm sorry about, the, about that. Under this plan, the world and all that's in it, our way of life as individuals and as citizens of the nations, our families and our jobs, our trade and commerce, and our money, our educational systems, our religions and our cultures, even the badges of our national identity, which most of us have always taken for granted, all will have been powerfully and radically altered forever. No one can be exempted from its effects. No sector of our life will remain untouched. Indeed, the three rivals, now his book is called The Keys of His Blood, The Struggle for World Dominion between Pope John Paul II, Mikhail Gorbachev and the Capitalist West. That's the title of his book. So he's talking about these three rivals um, as to who's going to control this world order. So he says, indeed, the three rivals themselves and many more besides as time goes on speak about this new world order not as something around a distant corner of time but as something that is imminent. He wrote this around about 1990. As a system that will be introduced and installed in our midst by the end of this final decade of the second millennium. What these competitors are talking about then is the most profound and widespread modification of international, national and local life that the world has seen in a thousand years. And I think his words um, really sum it up. Um, Concerning the life of individuals under the New World Order, Professor Carol Quigley of the Jesuit Georgetown University and mentor of the US President Bill Clinton states, his freedom and his choice will be controlled within very narrow alternatives by the fact that he will be numbered from birth and followed as a number through his educational training, his required military or other public service, his tax contributions and final retirement and death benefits. Um, Another magazine, sorry, a magazine called Foyette Ray reported from the United Nations organisation in Geneva, Switzerland, that plans were worked out to dissolve the United Nations to make way for a royal tribunal which will seize all possessions and all savings and bank deposits. Every man, woman and child will receive a certain amount of money and a number. This money is already available and deposited in a bank just waiting for distribution. Everyone with a number will be employed either in the administrative, the commerce, the industrial or the agricultural branch. This plan and this project provides for a single form of worship and the appointed day for all people will be Sunday. Uh, I want to highlight that because I'm going to come back to that point in future interviews. It's very significant. I just want to highlight it. The appointed day for worship for all people will be Sunday. The number received by the people will promise the right to buy or sell. I want to highlight that as well. That has been predicted in the book of Revelation chapter 13. We are going to get into that. At the end of this statement, a Christian rose and asked the speaker, what happens to the minorities who will not accept this plan? The Christian was told their number will be cancelled with a black line and they'll be deprived of the right to buy and sell and will thus be forced to destruction. So this is extremely bleak. Um, it's it's very distressing information. I want to say we're going to get to the good news and we're going to talk a little bit more about the plan details and then the pandemic, how the pandemic fits in to the whole big plan. And uh, I want to do a decode on this year, on, on um, the year 2020, because there's some very significant information that will help us to make sense of what's going on.